can we start from scratch again after a massive update? Watch as we build roads, markets, and tackle new challenges. Don't miss the surprise at the end. So let's dive in. Here we go, starting from scratch. <laughs> Seems like we cannot get a break. Okay, now we need to take care of our important things. I wanna kind of build this and destroy the least amount of trees possible. Let's do the woodcutter's lodge over here. We can do the saw pit a little bit later. Hunting camp. So, the basic layout of our town is set up. We've got all the necessary things put down. Let me have a look here and see what we're gonna do. Important is the granary. We'll put the granary over not there. We can put the granary and the storehouse. These are the most important buildings because all of our materials that we gather will be sold here. And then the storehouse will put kind of over here. Not enough goods, what? Tavern, we'll put the tavern kind of here. Housing. Seems like we're slowly getting there. When we have built up, or when we get more people, we need to change the firewood, let it be stored here in the storehouse, and then the storehouse sells it on the marketplace. Same with the granary. We are gonna rush for the rye cultivation. Are we going to survive with, well, for food we're gonna survive, but for the firewood, this guy needs to hurry up. Saw pit, we can slowly build the saw pit. So a little bit more waiting, I suppose. You are not needed right now. Now we just need to wait for our approval rating to go up and then we can do something, right? Is it just me or did the grass change color? The grass changes color now. So the granary can sell food. All the food will be brought to the granary. And then the storehouse you can sell. Firewood stall and the food stall. Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. I like that. You guys cannot sell. Yes, you cannot sell. A new family. Meat, meat, get your meat here. So fresh, <laughs> it's practically still mooing. <laughs> I like <laughs> that. Was funny. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, what well, I wanted to do something, but I forgot. <laughs> That's hilarious. Got a ton of planks, we can build our church. Ah, uh, that's what I wanted to do. I completely forgot about a tannery. What can we sell? Hmm, I need to make money so that we can buy. The grass color do change. Wow, that is something I didn't notice before until now, that the grass color changes according to the season. That is so cool. Winter is coming. <laughs> so maybe we should use this. Stone. 
I think what I'll do is this area over here, I'll put the first field in here. Why? Why can I not? Ah, uh, that's why. Move this damn thing. No, no, I don't want to move it there. I'm such an idiot. Move it. I'm sorry, guys. You're going to have to move it again. <laughs> right, follow, right here. We're going to run out of food. This is turning out wonderful. Splendidly. How much stone do we have? 13 stone. So build the manor. We can kind of sell our planks because we don't need the planks right now. Export. Taxes. Here we go. Land tax. We're going to get money for that. I think we should go for tithe. Start our sheep empire. Sheep import. We've got food for two months. Are we seriously going to struggle again? Running out of food. I know. I know. Come on. Relax. We don't have any food. <laughs> so, welcome to the end of the episode review. Uh, we've got... So many things that we did. Oh my goodness. So we've got all these burger plots. They're producing vegetables. Well, not all of them. We're getting there. And then this is going to be our apple farms. There you see. We already have some apple trees. Something that I did differently in this playthrough is we have a field, a rye field, and that produces our grain, which will turn into flour there with the mill. And then it will be turned into bread. So here is our rye field and then our pasture for our sheep. So if you enjoy my content, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my future uploads. Please leave a comment down below on any tips, tricks, questions or concerns that you might have. Then also, if you'd like, please check out our membership page by clicking the join button. If there is no join button, you can find both the links to YouTube membership and Patreon in the description below. With that being said, I'm going to give my current supporters the recognition that they deserve by putting their name in the credit roll. If you want your name in the credit roll, be sure to become a member. So credit roll in three, two, one, go. Alrighty then, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.